Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel called London Business as Usual, where I teach small business owners, new LLCs, how to leverage their business credit to start, to grow, and to scale their business. So in this episode, I'm going to teach you what's the fastest way to get roughly $100,000 or more in business funding, right? So what does that path look like and how can you get there as a new LLC? So let's start talking about that right now. All right, so let's unpack it. So when we're looking for business funding from financial institutions, we wanna make sure that we properly structure our business. That's one of the most simple but essential things you wanna do when you're trying to get funding from different banks. Like notice I said banks because in my previous videos, I always discuss right, the difference between business credit versus business funding. When I mention business funding, I'm actually talking about going to different financial institutions, whether you're talking about national banks, regional banks, uh, community banks, credit unions, right? So we're going to these different financial institutions and we're actually going to get the money, funds. So funding is short for funds, right? Money, cash. In order for you to grow and scale your business, you might need those funds for marketing. You might need those funds to hire new staff. Maybe you need new systems. So it can be a plethora of things that you need in your business in order to maybe even start it to grow or to scale it. So when I say funds, I just want to make sure I'm very clear when I say I'm talking about money because business credit is a totally different concept than business funding. So business credit, just to recap, if this is your first time I'm on YouTube channel, business credit is when you leverage your business by itself and you go to other companies and you open up lines of credit with those companies. For example, if I go to Best Buy, based on the structure of my business, based on my business foundation, based on my business credit profile, based on my business credit score, I can leverage my business by itself, brand new or established, and I can go to Best Buy and open up lines of credit with Best Buy. That's business credit. Now, business credit is not referring to the banks. So in this video, I'm referring to the banks. How can we get $100,000 or more in business funding by what's the fastest way? Essentially, like what's the fastest way? So let me break that down. So the first thing you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you have a fundable foundation. What I mean by that, you wanna make sure that your, your business is properly structured. Just with the basis, I'm gonna go over a few, right? You wanna make sure that you have a, obviously an EIN number. You wanna make sure that you register with the Secretary of State. You want to make sure that you're listed in a 411. You want to make sure that you have a, uh, a platform as far as your business is on maybe Instagram, maybe on Facebook, maybe in Google, right? You want to make sure that your business is findable, if that's even a word. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you have a professional email address, a professional phone number, like a 1-800 number. So these are the things you want to make sure that your business is properly structured. Even your NASCO, right? What type of industry are you in? Are you in a high risk industry? What type of business name do you have? Is your business name in jeopardy for you to get funding from these banks? So all that is important. That's building a fundable foundation. That's really the secret sauce and to getting between a 5,000 credit card as opposed to getting a $25,000 credit card or a $50,000 credit card, the foundation of your business must be properly structured. So that's something that I definitely can teach you how to do uh, in the Apex Business Credit Community. Shameless plug. Now, that's the first step. We wanna make sure that we build a, uh, or properly structure our business. Now, after we do that, the second step we wanna make sure we do, we need to leverage and I use that word strongly, we need to leverage the business owner's credit, which is really important, right? Leveraging a business owner credit can put us in a different position than people who are trying to build their business credit strictly off the tier system. Because when we leverage the business owner credit, which is your personal credit, I wanna make sure I'm very clear, the only way you can get the bank's money, the only way these banks will trust you enough in order to lend you a line of credit or to extend you that line of credit or to give you that credit line, they wanna see your personal credit profile because your personal credit profile is gonna tell them the story that they need to know as a business owner, are you able to manage debt? So it tells them that story. It tells them things like your payment history. It tells them things like your credit utilization. It tells them things like your credit history. 
So that profile is going to tell them everything they need to know as far as you as a business owner. So you need to attach that to your business to make your case even stronger. This is the fastest way to get business funding by leverage the business owner credit and leverage your business. You put the two together and now you can go get unsecured business credit cards. Now, why is this important? Well, let me break that down. Let me unpack why these unsecured business credit cards is very important. Well, it's easy because there's something that's called stated income where you don't have to show any or low documentations. See, as a business owner, we want to get the cash as quick as possible in the easiest way as possible, right? We don't want to have to go to these companies and show any base statements because maybe our business, we had to accumulate a lot of revenue yet. So we our base statements is close to little to none, right? Zero. So we don't have that much revenue. Maybe we don't have our tax returns. We haven't filed taxes yet in our business because frankly, we haven't made enough money. Maybe we don't have, um, we haven't been in two years in business, right? So all these things we take consideration when we're looking to get funding from these banks where we don't have to show any documentation or low documentation, whether we don't have a PL statement yet, profit and loss statement to show if our business is profitable. So if we don't have any of these documentations, then how can we get business funding? Well, you don't need any of those documentations when you're dealing with stated income business credit cards. And just about every bank has them to Chase, to Bank of America, to your small community bank, to your credit unions. They have these stated income business credit cards where you don't have to show little or to no documentations, which is really powerful. So this is one of the strongest ways where your business can get unsecured business credit cards strictly based off your business and your personal credit or the business owner credit. You put the two together and now you can go get the cash with little to no documentations. All right. This is how I was able to scale my business. I was able to get to the American Express card to chase the Bank of America in order to pay for my marketing in order to 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 be more recognized in the field in my industry that I'm going in. I was able to hire staff, right? I was able to hire help. So I was able to get the systems that I need, the equipment that I need in order to scale and grow my business. So which is really powerful for a new business owner. So I highly suggest you get your personal credit in position because that's going to determine how fast you get funding. Now, there's other sources out there where you can get funding based off your revenue or maybe you have some type of collateral right where you can where you can use in order to secure the funding but if you don't if you don't have any collateral any type of asset like cash in the bank any type of art any your boat um your home your car anything you can put up as collateral then you don't want to go that route if you don't want to use collateral meaning an unsecured business credit card then you need to fix your personal credit. Your personal credit is one of the most essential things you can have as a business owner. Because it will give you access to a lot of funding. So I highly suggest you do that. Now, to recap, we're gonna leverage our business. We're also gonna leverage our personal credit, put the two together and go get the, and go get the bank's money. That's the best way you can get these unsecured business credit cards. Now, in another video, I'm going to elaborate exactly the benefits and the purse of having these unsecured business credit cards that you can take advantage of when you're looking to grow and scale your business. So see you on the next video. Hope this helps. Peace.